So Rick, what are you going to do with your life? Well, I've decided I'm going to live in a van full time. Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. No, really, what what are you going to actually do with your life? Well, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to actually live full time in a van, a converted U-Haul truck. How are you going to take a dump? So if you've been contemplating the possibility of living full-time in a van, <clears throat> you may have encountered a very similar kind of reaction from people. And you have to say it's an honest reaction because it raises some questions actually. For instance, what does it say about modern civilization and modern society? if? At any time you suggest an alternative way of living, and the very first thing that comes to mind is, how are you going to take a dump? Well, I know that's a common question. I've gotten it from many people, so I'm going to do my obligatory van dwelling video on how I poop in a van. I think this is a rite of passage. Anybody who lives in a van, you're required to do a video on how you poop in your van. We have to get together on this because we have to convince an unbelieving world here that it's actually possible. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I poop in a van. Okay, here are the items that I use to uh, do a number two in the van. And I'm focusing on number two only here. Number one is another technique. But number two is as follows. First of all, I have these items, you know, a good magazine if you need it. Double duty bags, I'll explain that in a minute. Paper towels. The solution that I showed in the shower video, which is the one-third hydrogen peroxide, two-thirds water, and any of your favorite essential oil mixed in there to make it smell good. And then uh, I usually can get by with two paper towels. I don't use toilet paper. I use paper towels and I'll explain how I do that in just a moment. Then the actual toilet itself is a luggable loo, which is just a plastic toilet seat that fits on top of a five gallon bucket. This is just happens to be a Home Depot bucket. It'll fit on any five gallon bucket. You can actually buy a luggable loo bucket with it if you want. Um, inside here, I have the double duty bags. Now these bags, the reason they're double duty is because they have a bag within a bag. And I'll show you how that wraps up and goes inside in a minute. And then I also, just, just to give it some extra protection, I line it with a couple garbage bags. You don't have to use these double duty bags. You can just use any old cheap garbage bag if you want and do the same thing. I just use these because when I see them, when I'm in a store or something, I just pick up a bunch of them because they're very convenient, especially if you have to uh, travel a little bit before you can dump the bag. It, it's, it gives you a nice way to seal it up so it's, so it's, uh, you know, it's protected and secure. So, the procedure goes like this, you know, I get in the van, shut the door, and I put the bucket in the center of the room. It fits right under my bed right there. See my junky bed under there? But that's where it fits right there. Just pull it right out. And there's, there's nothing in it when it's, when it's under there. It's always ready to go for the next use. Uh, so, and, and just, a, just a side note too, this is the beauty of this kind of a van is that it's a multiple purpose. I mean, this one room here is everything. It's a bathroom, a kitchen, a bedroom, an art studio, and a, a nice porch, you know, to look out with. So anyway, back to the pooping in a van. Uh, so you got, the, you got the bucket in the middle of the room. You're all ready to go, got everything ready. I always have everything sitting here ready to go. And I have some bleach sitting there, which I'll show you how I use that in a moment. 
So what you do is you, you sit down, you do your thing, then when you're ready to clean up, clean yourself off, again, I use this solution, and what I do is I'll take a, a paper towel. The reason I use paper towels is because they're, they are stronger than toilet paper. Now you gotta remember the reason we have toilet paper in the first place in our modern civilization is because it was necessary to come up with some sort of paper that would dissolve in water and go down a tube about this big around. Well, when you're, when you're doing it this way, you don't have that problem. And so I use paper towels because they hold up a little better and I can get the job done better, actually. And it's, it's a little more pleasant because what I do is I wet it down with the solution, the hydrogen peroxide solution. Take it, wipe yourself off, throw it right in there. <coughs> I can use it, usually do it twice, and it's it's done deal, you know? And two paper towels and I got it done. Now, um, the next step is I'll take the bleach, just a little bit of bleach, out of here and dump it in there. Just, you know, about, you know, about half of a thimble full. Just enough to cut the smell, because that really does cut the smell. And by the way, I give a shout out to uh, Rolling Earthship, because he demonstrated this on his video. That's Rolling Earthship uh, Lewis, and that was a great idea. So I just started using it myself, so I can verify that his idea does in fact work. This is a good way to do it, because what it does is it kills the smell totally, and your, your van kind of smells like a public swimming pool for a little while, but that's okay. It just dissipates. And it's better to have that smell, I think, than the other smell. <laughs> so anyway, uh, then when that's done, you take this out. Uh, you know, this rolls, this rolls up inside the bag. I'm holding the camera and doing this and probably should have set up another shot, but I'll just see if I can get it. But you see how it goes. And then this seals up. And it's pretty straightforward and simple. Then, you, then I just put it in my garbage uh, bag temporarily until I get to a place where I can dump it. Because I don't always have a place available right away to dump it. That's why I use the double duty bags. Because it, it never really works out that I have a place to dump it right away. You know, it's, it's just the way things work out. So, but I, I never go more than, you know, more than part of a day I mean even just a few hours I never I never leave anything like that in the van for a long period of time at all I get rid of it as soon as possible if I don't have a place I go looking for a place right afterwards okay now of course the final step is always wash your hands remember your mom taught you that uh, again I use the, the, the same old solution here I clean up my hands and you know when I'm done with using the toilet seat you know I uh, spray some of this on there spray it down and you can wipe it with the paper towels and then I spray my hands down with it you know can't can't use both hands right now but uh, anyway you get the idea and then when I'm finally done I spray my hands with that and for one final clean I use this uh, and this uh, you know antiseptic stuff you know what I mean this this hand cleaner stuff that you get can't say the word right now for some reason but uh, you know what I'm talking about and that cleans you up that's the final step so and then I put a put one more bag in there and put it back under my bed it's ready to go for the next time all right so I hope my video on how to poop in a van helps you and I hope it takes some of the mystery out of uh, a much asked question I think that this happens to be one of the things people are the most anxious about when they hear that you're going to do this lifestyle. And um, I think sometimes we go to too much trouble, you know, if you buy a commercial RV and so forth, a big huge part of it is the plumbing system in there. And it's, it's complicated, it's got lots of parts to it, things that can go wrong big old black water tank. I mean, how many times do people carry their 
their sewage with them across state lines for thousands of miles. I don't, know. I don't think it's necessary, and, and I've chosen to just do it differently. It's very simple. You don't have to make it a big deal. In fact, one of the, one of the things I found now after two months of living full time in the van is that this is one of the least of the problems. It's really low on the list. In fact, I actually appreciate having my bucket, my little bathroom available anywhere I go. That's one of the cool things about it. You know, you, you can park in a, like I'm in a park right now, in a regular parking stall. And if I have to go, well, I just shut the doors and, and I'm, I'm good. I don't have to go searching for a public bathroom everywhere. I would much rather use this method than use a public restroom anyway. It's clean, it's sanitary, it works, it's simple. That's why I chose it. Well, anyway, I hope this helps you and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.